Sleep is one of the most important things in life, and my sleep is trash. At least, that is until today. Science shows that bad sleep can impact not just your short-term performance, but also things like how well you learn, how well you recover, all the way to preventing things such as dementia in the future. So it's safe to say this is something I probably should have started looking into a lot sooner. But today marks the start of a 30-day journey of me perfecting my sleep. Good morning, world, for a beautiful day. <laughs> oh, last night's sleep was pretty horrible, I'm not gonna lie. Running on very minimal sleep right now because I just could not fall asleep for the life of me. I felt like I was up for four hours. My sleep being trash might still be an understatement. It's literally dog water. This is definitely going to be a tough one, but why? Here are the guidelines that I'm going to be following to perfect my sleep and the rules that I have to follow that are science backed and proven in order to actually get a better night's sleep every single night. Number one is making sleep my number one priority. Sleep is very, very important. So if you're not making it a priority in your life, obviously it's not going to be that good. It's hard to get right. Number two is having a consistent bedtime. Science shows that your body will get into a habit of when to fall asleep and wake up. So it'll get you into your deep and REM stages to sleep a lot faster. Step three is having some sort of wind down routine, something to get my mind in the mode to fall asleep. Step four is avoid eating food right before bed. I want to try to eat my last meal as early as possible just so my stomach is not trying to digest food while I'm asleep and taking the blood flow to my stomach rather than the parts of my body that need it to sleep. Five, I'm just going to avoid any stimulants before bed. So that's any caffeine or alcohol, not that I drink, but if I did any caffeine or alcohol before bed. Six, regulate any light coming into my eyeballs once the sun is set. No bright lights, blue light, anything like that. Seven is maintaining an ideal temperature this is something I'm gonna have to figure out for me during the challenge so it kind of ranges on a person to person's basis and there's more but we'll come back to that bedtime um, I did a few things and I got to do a few more really quickly before I do go to bed I got the thermostat for my temperature set at 60 degrees that's just what I found works best for me with how many blankets I got to keep me warm but not cold and not too warm perfect temperature essentially is really what it is I blacked out my room as best I can in previous videos blocking out things like the smoke detector and a few different things like that. So that's good. But if I notice anything crazy throughout these 30 days, I'm just going to hurry and turn those off. Um, I haven't eaten any food for the past about four hours or so. It's going to suck because it is going to negate a little bit of the gains. But if it fixes my sleep, that's really more important at the end of the day. The only lights I have on right now are for filming. But otherwise, I'd have zero lights. Blue light blockers on. We're going to see how this first night does. I'm not expecting too much of a change in these first few nights. I'm figuring it's gonna take a little bit, but that's why we got time for the experiment. And to bed I went, but what's next? Step eight is maintaining a peaceful sleep environment. I don't want too much going on in my room, believe it or not. I just wanna have the things that I actually need to fall asleep and really try to avoid doing anything else in this room. So me filming right now in this room, probably not the best thing. Step nine is sun exposure. So that's going outside in the mornings to get bright light in my eyeballs to start my circadian rhythm. And at night watching the sunset to get my melatonin and production started. And step 10 is gathering data. It's impossible to fix anything if you don't have any numbers to back it up to know what you need to be doing to fix it. So I'm going to be tracking all of my data on both a whoop band as well as an aura ring throughout this entire challenge. I got a lot of this information from the one and only Brian Johnson. Feel free to check him out if you'd like. But now that you know everything you need to know, let's see how I did. So these first few days have been a little bit crappy trying to get my bedtime onto a consistent schedule because before this challenge, I would literally just go to sleep and wake up whenever I had to the next day. Now I'm waking up at the same time, no matter what day it is. So it's pretty early. I'm waking up at 7 a.m. every single day and it kind of sucks balls, but <laughs> I'm kind of getting into the hang of it. The first few days, I just got a lot less sleep. So my sleep has been suffering so far just because I'm used to falling asleep so late and waking up late. We're getting it so far. Bro, I don't know if it's just me, but literally every single night I get the biggest kick of energy. Like I'm tired throughout the entire day. And then right when it becomes nighttime, <laughs> I got just feel so energized, which is why I normally do my work at night. I'm like, oh, you know what? If I feel energized, blah, 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 then I'll just do it at night. Yeah, but I don't want to feel crappy in the mornings whatsoever. <laughs> It's so annoying, bro. There's a few things I've taken off of my bed and done in my environment to make it a little bit better since I've started. I took off the weighted blanket on my bed that I have been using just to see if it makes a difference, if it's been helping at all or what. I also had a few more lights that I blacked out and I also have been keeping my phone in another room. So it's not right next to me while I sleep. I always have it on sleep mode anyways, but still, I, I don't know if it's doing anything. I got no idea. It's also nice because when my alarm goes off, I have to get up out of bed to turn it off. And I'm also using candlelight 
light or these low lights whenever possible so my eyes not seeing that bright overhead light. Bright overhead lights are the worst thing for you when you're trying to go to sleep. So whenever possible, try to use candles or lights that are below your eye level. So for example, this under cabinet lighting right here, that way your mind subconsciously doesn't think that the sunlight is coming into your eyes and still thinks it's, it's sunset or something along those lines. It's still pretty early in the morning. I'm just doing some laundry right now. I am literally just so beat. It's a week into the challenge, but I don't know. So far, I just still feel the same as I have. I woke up an hour ago. It took me a little bit to get out of bed. I don't know, dog. And because of that, I made some extra changes. A few things that I've done on my night routine, kind of building that night routine like I was talking about. It's a little bit hard, but what I've been doing right now, just testing it out, it's only been a few days. Um, I fill up my water bottle. I go and do my night routine. So that's like brushing my teeth, everything like that. What I do on it every single night anyways. And then I'll come out, sit next to my bed and just do a meditation. I'm doing about a five minute meditation. I'll increase it if I have to, but I'm just testing that out to see if there is any change in anything. I haven't noticed anything yet but and i have been pretty tired like right now i'm pretty beat and it's only nine o'clock i haven't even done my night routine yet good morning everyone things are looking up for me my scores are going up already which is the best thing i've ever seen i'm still pretty tired i might just not be a morning person and i don't know if there's anything i could do to fix that but i was able to fall asleep at an earlier time yesterday so you know, I, I can't complain so far. One thing that I was having problems on when I started this challenge was when I go to sleep at night because I haven't been eating close to bedtime, I have been freaking starving. I would wake up starving in the middle of the night. So I've been kind of adjusting my meals to do a heavier meal earlier in the day to see if that helps. But my metabolism dog is just so fast that it's so hard to keep nutrients in my body for longer than two hours at a time. So if I'm waking up because I'm hungry, that's gotta be a negative thing. So I don't know if I need to change that or what I'm gonna do there. That might be a longer test i'm gonna have to do later on in life but it is a little challenging i may look dead right now but this is the most energized in the morning that i felt in a long long time i got the same amount of sleep as normal maybe even less than i get it sometimes but i'm feeling really good for some reason i haven't done anything specifically different just doing the same routine i've been doing but things are looking up things are looking up my boy let's freaking go wow this is purple hold on let me face this other line. um so i've been doing some experimenting with a peaceful sleep environment like i talked about i've been using white noise so far i actually quite like it because i'm not getting affected by other sounds like for example the heater going on or something like that things that kind of take you out of that deep sleep state because it's just a constant light noise happening all the time that makes it so you don't hear that other stuff as much so when breaks in my house i might be screwed but it's kind of nice it's a little weird to get used to at first but so far i'm not minding it i haven't seen an increase yet who knows though oh Things are coming to an end over here. Oh, let's go. Things are really kicking off. My scores have been consistently going up now on a daily basis. I'm up to a crown every single day on my aura ring. My recovery has been in the green for the past like two weeks on my whoop band. So it's going very, very good. It's been a few days since I started trying the white noise. I'm still liking it. I haven't seen a spike specifically from the white noise. So I don't know if it's doing anything, but I'm liking it. So I guess it, that's all that matters at the end of the day. Let's go, bro. We are almost done. Even though I'm going to be doing this the rest of my life, probably. But we're almost done with the challenge. All right, so I'm just finishing up the final day of the challenge, ladies and gentlemen. 30 days has officially been completed. And let me tell you, I feel freaking amazing, bro. I feel so good. I feel so much better. My sleep has been so much more restorative in a shorter period of time. So even when I'm getting less sleep, I'm feeling so much better overall. Where before I'd get nine hours of sleep and feel like absolute dog. And honestly, overall, I just feel so much more alert. I have each of the guidelines that I've been following throughout this challenge linked in the description of this video for you absolutely free i'm not requesting anything in return but if you enjoyed this if you learned something make sure to smash that like button comment down below any videos you want to see and subscribe and i'll see you next time peace